the last lecture we were uh, we have started with 2d viewing and clipping and in the last lecture we have discussed one algorithm for line clipping that is cohen sutherland algorithm so today we will start with the next line clipping algorithm that is langbasky line clipping algorithm now uh, in the last lecture i already told you that the, this is the clipping window and it has the coordinates this is the minimum value of x this is the minimum uh, maximum value of y and this is the minimum value of uh, y and this is the maximum value of y and this, so this, these are the coordinates of this clipping window anything that will lie uh, inside this clipping window will be visible for example in this particular diagram uh, there is a line that is crossing this um, clipping window and the initial point is x0 y0 and the la uh, second point is x and y n. So what we uh, what is the objective of uh, this line clipping is uh, the part that is visible that lies on, on the clipping window will be visible and the rest of the part will be invisible. So what we have to do the objective of this algorithm is we have to find out this these two intersection points this one and this one because the line between these two intersection points will be visible in the clipping window. So, uh, for solving the, this problem, we have to consider the parametric definition of a line. So, to find out the first inter intersection point, we will have uh, uh, that is the x and y. Now, x is equal to x1 plus u delta x, where delta x is x2 minus x1, y is y1 plus u delta y, where delta y is y2 minus y1, and the value of u lies between 0 and 1. Now, any uh, the clipping condition says anything that lies uh, between x min and x max and y min and y max that point will lie on the clipping window. So, uh, the if x lies between x min and x max and y lies between y min and y max, that means that point is that point lies on the clipping window and that will be visible. Now, we have to rearrange these uh, two equations, then we will get this minus u delta x less than equal to x1 minus x min u delta x less than equal to x max minus x, x1 minus v delta y less than equal to y1 minus y min v delta y less than equal to y max minus y1 now in general form uh, these four parts can be written as u delta pk less than equal to qk so uh, this is the generalized form that will be used to solve a problem so, uh, how to, where k is from 1 to 4. So, we have to find out these four points. See, uh, the clipping window has the left, uh, left boundary, right boundary, uh, top and the bottom. So, that's why k is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, when p1 is equal to minus delta x, q1 is x1 minus xw, it represents the left boundary. p2 is delta x, q2 is x w max minus x1 that is the right boundary of the clipping window p3 is equal to minus delta y and q3 is equal to y1 minus y w min that is the bottom boundary of the clipping window p4 is equal to delta y and q4 is equal to w y max minus y1 that is the top boundary of the algorithm uh, clipping window so on these uh, values of p1 and uh, p k and q k uh, there are different cases that we have to consider. If PK is 0, the line is parallel to the boundaries and if for the same K, QK is less than 0. That means if PK is equal to 0 and QK is less than 0, the line is completely outside the boundary and that can be eliminated. So that is not visible in the clipping window. But if PK is 0 and QK is greater than equal to 0, the line is inside the boundary and needs further consideration. So from the first case, we will find out uh, that will be clear whether we have to consider that line for clipping or not. Now second case says if PK is less than 0, the extended line proceeds from outside to inside of the uh, corresponding boundary. Suppose this is the clipping window and if PK is less than 0, that means it is going from outside to inside. And then we have to find out Rk is equal to Qk upon 
Pk and we have to find out U1. U1 will be the maximum value of 0 and Rk. Now the third case is if Pk is greater than 0, the extended line proceeds from inside to outside of the corresponding boundary. Suppose this is the line now is coming from inside to outside. In that case, we have to find out Rk that is equal to Qk upon Pk and we have to find out U2. Now U2 is the minimum of 1 and the Rk value. Now case 4 says if U1 greater than U2, that means the U1 uh, calculated in uh, case number 2 and U2 calculated in case number 3, if U1 is greater than U2, the line is completely outside and therefore we do not have to consider that line. So the, these are the steps that are required to uh, apply the line basket line clipping algorithm. Now I will show you an example. Suppose uh, there are two points, uh, there is a line P1, P2 and the points are given here and uh, the clipping window boundaries are given. For example in this case XW min, XW max, YW min and YW max are given. So in this case it is, this is the clipping window and this is 0, 0 and this is 1, 1. Now we have to find out whether this line P1, P2 lies on the clipping window or not. So it may uh, move like this. Now to solve this problem, what we have to do, we have to find out delta x that is x2 minus x1, delta y that is y2 minus y1. And then we have to calculate all the values of pk and qk from 1 to 4. So p1 is minus delta x, that means minus 3. Now q1 is x1 minus xw min, so it will be minus 1. And then we have to calculate rk that is qk upon pk that is q1 upon p1 that is 1 by 3. Similar is the case for P2, P3 and P4 and these are the values of Rk. Now, uh, in the uh, second case, uh, in the first case and the third case, P1 and in case of P1 and P3, it is less than 0. So, it is less than 0, that means we have to calculate the value of U1 and that is the value of maximum 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and 0. So, maximum value is 1 by 3. Now, in case of uh, P2 and P4, it is greater than 0. So we have to calculate U2, that is the minimum of 2 by 3, 1 by 2 and 1 and the minimum value is 1 by 2. Now, uh, the last case, that is the fourth case says if U1 is greater than U2. Now in this, now in this case, U1 is less than U2, so there, is a, there should be a visible section that we have to calculate by using the parametric equation. That is x is equal to x1 plus u1 delta x. So x1 is min minus 1 plus u1 is 1 by 3 and delta x is 3. So we will get 0. And this, this is the first point that uh, will lie on the clipping window that is the 0, 0. Now we have to, so this is the 0, 0 point. Now we have to calculate the next intersection point that means this one. So it, it will be x dash is equal to x1 plus u2 delta x. Now in the second, when we are calculating the second point we have to consider u2. So it is minus 1 plus 1 by 2 into 3 and we will get 0 0.5 and y dash is equal to 1. So this point will be somewhere uh, between, uh, so this point will be 0 0.5 and 1. So these are the intersection points and the line that will be between 0 0 and 0 0.5 and 1 that will be visible and that will be in the, on the clipping window. So this is the case for Langbasky. Now the, what are the difference between the Langbasky algorithm and Cohen's other line algorithm? See, uh, in case of Langbasky uh, algorithm, le less intersection calculations are required as we have already seen. But in case of Cohen's other line, uh, the repeated intersection calculations are required. Now the second difference is if we have to update U1 and U2 uh, and it requires only one region because we are doing QK upon, PK upon QK. So uh, in case of coherence on the land, we need division as well as multiplication. So that is a complex calculation. So these are the differences. Now next one is, next topic is polygon clipping. As you can see here, this is the clipping window and this is the polygon. Now we have to find out after clipping which part of the uh, this polygon will be visible. 
So after clipping, we will get this. So we have to find out all the intersection points. So a polygon form be processed by a line clipping clipper may be displayed as a series of unconnected uh, line segments depending on the orientation uh, of the polygon to the clipping window. So uh, what we want to display a bounded region after clipping as shown in the, this figure, this one. Now the output of the polygon clipping algorithm should be a sequence of vertices that defines the clip algorithm. Uh, clip polygon boundary. So this is the sequence of vertices and it is a closed figure because that is a polygon. Now we have Sutherland Hogman polygon uh, clipping algorithm. Now according to this a polygon can be clipped correctly by processing the polygon boundary uh, as a whole against each window edge. Now process all the polygon vertices against each clip rectangle boundary in turn. So the steps for this Sutherland Hogman polygon clipping algorithm is we have to begin with the initial set of polygon vertices. First clip the polygon against the left rectangle boundary to produce a new sequence of vertices. So we have to find out the intersection point on the left boundary. Now the new set of vertices could then be successfully passed to the right boundary clipper, a bottom boundary clipper and to the top boundary clipper. So in this case we will follow the rule of LR B, T. That is left, right, bottom and top boundaries. Now, we, did, uh, we have at each step a new sequence of output vertices is generated and passed to the next window boundary clipper. For example, suppose we have this polygon and this set of polygons and uh, this is given and we have to clip this using sutherland hogman polygon clipping. So the sutherland hogman polygon clipping algorithm says that we have to start with the left, then we have to go to the right, then bottom and top. That is LRBD rule. So first we will clip left side. So after clipping this, this one, we will get the uh, intersection point here and uh, clipping this one, we will get this. So and after the left clipping, we will get this uh, scene. And when we will come to the right clip, this part and this part will be clipped. So we will get this. After coming to the uh, bottom clip, in this case it will be this one. And when we will clip the topmost value, then this is the uh, object that will be visible and that lies on the clipping window. So, th so this is the sutherland hogman polygon clipping algorithm. So there are uh, four possible cases when vertices are processed in sequence around the parameter of the polygon. So one is if the first vertex, vertex is outside the window boundary and the second vertex is inside the window boundary, both the intersection of the polygon edge with the window boundary and the second vertex is added to the output vertex list. So if uh, it says the first vertex is outside, that means we are going from this place to this place and the second vertex is inside. So we have to include this uh, second vertex in the list. Second uh, step says if both input vertices are inside the uh, window boundary, only the second vertex is added to the... Suppose we have this. Now in this case, uh, when both the points are inside the clipping window, then we have to add uh, the second point, uh, second uh, vertex because first vertex has already been added to the list. If both input vertices, uh, the third, third uh, case says if the first vertex is inside the window and uh, boundary and the second vertex is outside, only the edge in intersection with the boundary is added to the output list. Suppose this is the case. So we have added this vertex, we have added this vertex. Now we are going from outside to, uh, sorry, inside to outside. So we uh, we want this vertex, that is the intersection point at the right boundary, is to be added into the vertex list. So if both input vertices are outside the uh, window boundary, nothing is added to the in, wow, vertex list. So for example, it, we are going from this place to this place. Now both the vertices, this vertex and this vertex are outside the boundary. So there is no need to consider this case. So this can be the polygon that we will discuss later on. Now the example. 
so successive processing of pairs of polygon vertices against the left window boundary so this case uh, this example is showing only how to clip on the left boundary suppose we have this uh, this is the boundary that is given now we are going from outside to inside that that means we are going from v1 to v2 now v1 is outside the uh, clipping window and v2 is inside so it says that we have to add this intersection point v1 dash and v2 into the list then from uh, v2 we are going to uh, from in into in that is this one and the output will be uh, v, uh, v, uh, v2 and then uh, we are going from outside inside to outside and then we have to find out the intersection point in this case we are going from out to out so there is no need to add the vertices so this is the exercise now we uh, we are given with this polygon and this is the clipping window now the vertex list that is given is a b c and d so after left clipping left boundary clipping see uh, we are going from d to a so we have to add d dash because this is the left boundary and then a will not be added it will come to b will b and it will come to c and it, when we will come to c c d line the left boundary we have d double dash that is the intersection point at the left boundary that we have to add and now after the right uh, clip we have this right clip so what we have to do is we have to go from a to b so after going from a to b we uh, this is the intersection point b double b dash so uh, we do not have to add b to the vertex list but we will add the b double dash uh, intersection point then we will come to the c then we will come to b double dash and then d dash so this is the case because and we have started with the a now after the top clipping what we have to do is we will get a dash now we will come to this place so we have b dash b double dash then c and then d double dash d dash and this is the intersection point on the top boundary that we have to add that is a double dash so and after the bottom clipping we have started with a dash b dash b double dash c dash and then uh, because we have to clip uh, at the bottom boundary so c double dash is the intersection point so we have to add c dash double dash and then d double dash then d dash so that that is the complete uh, uh, poly uh, polygon that will be visible inside the so these are the points this is the part of the polygon that will be visible so this is the way of calculating the vertices intersection points now this is the second example this is a complex polygon so initially we are given with i a b c d e f g and h vertices so in this case it is initially starting from h i a like this so after left clip uh because on the left boundary there is no vertex that is outside the so we will get i a b c d e f g and h so this is the case so after top there is no uh, 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 what is vertex that is outside the uh, top boundary so we will get a b c d e f g h and i now after the right after the right one this one we have to start with r that is the that is the intersection point we are going from a to b and a is uh, we have to add this intersection 
this point that is R1. Then there is no need to add B, C, and then we have to add R2. Then from going to this place, we have to go to D. Then this is again the intersection point at uh, the right boundary R3. Then there is no need to add E and S. That is R4. Then we will go to G, H, I, and T. So this is the case for the after right clipping. Then we will come to the bottom clipping. Now at the bottom clipping, we have to start. This is the K bottom clipping. Then it will go to the B1. Then D. Then B2. Then K. Sorry. Uh, at this place, when we are going from this one, we have to start with R2, and then B1, D, B2, K, and then we will go to uh, this point R4. This one. G, H, I. Sorry, not H. This will be B3, B4, I, A, and R1. So these these are the points that will be visible. That you can see here. Now there is another uh, polygon clipping algorithm that is Wheeler Atherton polygon uh, clipping algorithm. Now the vertex processing procedure for window boundaries are modified so that concave polygons are displayed correctly. Uh, in case of uh, the last algorithm, that is the uh, Sutherland-Hoffman uh, algorithm, uh, we have uh, we were using the convex polygon, so we can follow the clockwise or anti-clockwise path for polygon processing. Whether the pair of polygon vertices currently being processed represent outside to inside pair or inside to outside pair. So for uh, for clockwise processing of the polygon vertices, uh, we use the following uh, uh, cases. For an outside to inside pair of vertices, follow the polygon boundary. And the second case is for an inside to outside pair of vertices, follow the window boundary in clockwise direction. So, this is the example. So, in this case, we are going from out to in. So add clip, vertex, add and vertex. So we have to add this vertex and this vertex. When we are going from in to in, we have to add and vertex, this one. And when we are going from in to out, we have to add the clip vertex, that is a this one vertex. And then we have to go from this place to this place. So this will be the part that will be visible after the five, uh, five, uh, one clipping. So this is the it is in clockwise direction. Now we will continue with the uh, this example. So right now we are having these are the points that these are the vertices that will be visible. Now we have to go from this point to this point. So. We will go. We will have this intersection point because we are going from outside to inside. So this is the intersection point that we have to clip, and this is the intersection point that we have to add. That is the ending point. And then we have to move from this point to this point. So this is the intersection point that will be visible. And from this place to we have to go from to this place. So this is the case. So uh, at the first uh, clipping, first step, this portion will be visible. At the second uh, clipping, this portion will be visible, and this will be invisible. So at the end, this is the case. We have to continue from the uh, cache vertex and direction. And at the end, this is the. Two unconnected polygons that will be visible and that will be inside the clipping window. So this was all about the viewing and clipping, 2D viewing and clipping. Thank you.